Just joined us, the single was a flop, and the girls are now auditioning for a part in the bill. The magic really happens when the band goes into the studio and you know that can make or break a you know make or break the recording really if if they don't deliver something which is good enough for another single then we'll arrange the next bout of recording I hear that possibly two, two out of the three additional tracks could be great as well. We're continuing with the uh, ballad that we started yesterday, which is a beautiful song, so today's going to be another good day. Yesterday we got lost done, today we're going to get lost done as well, so it's, uh, it's going really, really well and we're all enjoying it. and we're, sort of really getting to know each other now, so it's really, really nice. Also, I appreciate, you know, how much pressure is on everyone to, um, to deliver. And it is about one record, you know. All the marketing in the world, you know, is not, you know, it's never going to be good enough. You, it is about, you know, we're in the record business, it's about records. And the worst case scenario would be, that it was, you know, it's a top 15 record. And, you know, I, there would be some, some real concern as to the future of this band. That's the highest I've ever been. <laughs> You're evil. How do you sleep at night? Hello. Um, I've been given the camera to do my video diary tonight. I think it's been a good week for us to 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 learn um, a bit more about Johnny and what he's all about and stuff. Um, we've had some good some good days of um, some good days of like going out and. Like things like the um, the sledging, which were were really good for us to to learn. Kind of, you just learn about each other when you're out having a laugh, I suppose. Um, but that day was particularly good because we all just threw ourselves down a mountain. I'm really interested to see what's what's going to become of hearsay now, um, uh, and see how smoothly we're going to transpose from the band that was to the band that is now. If we haven't made the right decision by by carrying on and and just, you know, knuckling into it, then we we can't be disappointed because we're giving it we're giving this our best shot. I mean, obviously, um, it's a very important recording session um, because currently 
we have singles from the existing album. They all have Kim's vocals on. With the new lineup, we wanted to come up with a fresher sound, um, obviously something which uh, included Johnny as well. And it would be lovely to deliver that, you know, a single from this first recording session. It's great working in the studio and being doing all the recording again, but the pressure's on, really. The pressure is on because we've got to get the single right. And no matter how much we say, oh, this, that truck can go to an album and all that, I truly believe we might not even have an album if we don't get the single right. The single, the yeah. single has got to be right. I think, I think ESA have got a lot of support. I just think people are waiting for a great song now. I really do believe that. Oh, which way's coffee? Oh, is it that way? I got some chicken. Mm -hmm. I'd say that one thing I have lost since joining the band is like that innocence you get because you do see it in people when you start out. I've said it before, but there was one one occasion where I met a band. You know, I heard them say something on the lines of, you know, they don't know what they've got coming towards them or something like that. And I took it, I took it from just being really arrogant and from being very anti-hero. But they were so right because you haven't got a clue what's coming your way. You just think you're going to go up and do your three minutes singing and get in the recording studio and do a bit in there. But, it's like all the things that happen outside the band that take you by surprise. I mean, I've, you know, I've always wanted to be in a band since the age of 16, 17. Knowing what I know now, I don't think I could have coped with it at all. I think the band, as characters, have become very, very hardened um, and business-like about um, everything they do now. <laughs> I think something that has happened to us this year is that we've become a lot more cynical about things. Um, but we still have a ball and we still have a laugh and we love what we do. When they first started out, it was like five go mad in the pop industry. You can't predict the future. We could have never predicted two years ago that we were going to be in Hearsay. So I don't know how you can predict what's going to be the two years down the line, never mind a long, a long term career. And when you first come into it, you know, there's nothing wrong. Every day is a bonus and it's that, you know, I, well, fair enough, I was sitting in sign number four and, you know, so I've got nothing to lose. Let's go for it. But, you know, we, we've given our hearts and souls to this for the past year and a half and our life has become hearsay. We've, we've sacrificed a lot to live this dream. And um, when something goes slightly wrong, how people are so much about business, how record company, all they care about is record sales. You know, that, that's their bottom line. And you look at that and you just think, right, okay, well, if they're going to take it on a, on a professional level, then you have to take it on a professional level, just in case anything does go wrong in the next year and we find ourselves without the record deal or dropped or whatever. And then, you know, it's kind of self-preservation. You don't want to put your heart and soul into it if you're going to be burnt. But now I think they, they think about every decision. They think about what they need to deliver, every performance. Uh, they think about what their, their objective is and they go and, and, and they, you know, and they make a decision and they deliver it, sort of thing. Oh, no, you're doing this thing again. What thing, though? Feeding the dog what we're eating, I don't like that. Yeah, don't. Oh! Yeah, because really what, happened what happened yesterday, what happened yesterday was everybody fed the dog my dinner. Yeah, but yeah. Look, see, see no, we did doing. a separate bowl for all the fatty stuff. Yeah, I know, but then you put the bowl in his mouth and then he licks all the bowls and then you put yeah. it in his mouth. I stuff. didn't do that. I never did that. It was you. No, it wasn't. No, you did that. Watch you do it. See what I mean? <laughs> oh, I loved you. Now you're going to do it. Now you're going to still cut the chicken. Watch him dry his chicken. Excuse me. Hold on, you've cut the chicken? Yeah. Who for? For us. And now I'm where's mine? The second one. I saved I'm him one because one. he was in the studio, so it would keep warm. Hold on, where's my chicken? Here it is, now I'm cutting it. Oh, 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 look at this. Oh, this is my chicken. All right, then, I'll tell you what. Oh, I'll do it yourself. Used right. to. That's the second chicken that I've just cut, and Mylene's just had some of it. It's gone. The first one's gone? Yeah. But you just do what you do. Yeah, do what you do. No, can I just Go say something? Shut up, man. Don't speak. No, can I just say something? Shut up. Because I'm bored. You can just hear. Shut up. Yeah, you're boring us. Moaning that I'm giving the fat bits to the dog. This is how it started, right? Then he went on to who's been cutting the chicken. Who's been cutting the chicken for the whole week? You have. I have. Fair enough, they went out and got the chicken, no, but I've been cutting the chicken. Who paid for the chicken every day? Happened. You You're feeding the bowl to the dog. I can do that. 
it was no, and then you said he was putting off the food. He was in the chicken. I was you know what the mad thing is? No. He was in the chicken. They're having this argument. I paid for the chicken. But I'm just going to go and eat the chicken while they're arguing. Good morning. Hello. Hi. Hello. Right, well, it's our last day here in Norway today, and um, last day in the studio. Yeah. We're just hoping you're going to come out with some really good songs now. We just started a new track called Full, if you're missing my loving, and basically it was a track written by David and Kathy Dennis. Um, it's kind of like an 80s kind of vibe track, so we'll see if we can uh, get that to work with the guys here, but I think so. And um, we're just going to do some leads and back and vocals for me. Gonna keep your hands off my best friend for Well, it's your mistake we had to make I gave you my heart and now it's too late Perfect! Perfect, we got it. Mm. Hello. I'm eating chocolate, so... <laughs> But um, basically, it's all going well, and um, I've got to go because they want to use the studio. But um, it's all going good. We're going to have a great single here. I think a number one's coming, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Look into my eyes and tell me now exactly what you see There's a lot of hurt inside after all you did to me Oh, you made me look so bad right in front of all my friends Make me believe that you're the one on which you can't depend They made it look dodgy, yeah They're not rock and roll if that's what you're asking me They're very spontaneous or go anywhere without people not minding their own business. The, the band have come back from Norway feeling very, very enthusiastic about the um, recording session. Um, the feedback from David is, you know, he's saying all the right things and, you know, so we're kind of sitting here waiting, so, you know, really he's hoping. Can I have your autograph, please? Yeah. Thank you. Yay! I'm on telly. <laughs> Thank you, love. Uh, yeah, they're all right. Yes, I'm Do you like the new member? I love the new member. No, I don't. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you like the I love you better. Prefer <laughs> 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 the old spy skills. And I think at the moment, because of everything that's happened, they are so so focused on on you know really making this work. They're pa you know absolutely passionate about you know turning this around and. Uh, and you know, good on them because you know I think that's that kind of energy. There's not enough of that energy. I just want to get out of here. I want a coffee. Yeah, me too. Starbucks is cool. Oh. Right. We'll speak to you all later like when we're drinking coffee. Goodbye. The current climate for hearsay was very good, and I was kind of um, getting quietly excited 
you know, as bands, you know, were disappearing towards the end of last year, you know, Steps obviously retiring as a band. To this day with, with Five, I, I, I find it the most frustrating thing that they called it a day when they did. And uh, for, for such a long time I was, you know, grappling to try and keep it all together. When the rainy days are dying, gotta keep on, keep on trying. All the bees and birds are flying. But the fact is that there are few, you know, there are fewer acts out there at the moment within this genre. And uh, you know, if you're to look at male, female, you know, um, acts, you know, you there there is only sort of S Club Seven, you know, Hearsay, Liberty and uh, all-stars, you know. <laughs> so I think we kind of rank <laughs> near the top there. <laughs> Good morning. What we're doing today is uh, taking the photos to replace Johnny's image on all of the hearsay merchandise that is out there at the moment. form a band or a band comes to you before you even go to a record company you do a certain amount of development then sometimes it can be a year in, a, in development even after it's they've signed a deal before they release their first single this band came out the starting blocks and was immediately in the public's eye and the girls are now auditioning for a part in the bill. You know, all the styling, all the imagery, everything has had to be done, um, you know, in the public eye. And it's, and you never, that kind of process takes a bit of tweaking and tuning, and it's a development process and uh, you'll never get it right first time. What I'm going to be putting them in today is a lot of kind of high street pieces with some designer stuff as well and kind of mix and matching it all up. So we've got a real kind of like, a real pop vibe. It's nothing too edgy. This is kind of like, very much for like merchandising and stuff. So um, it should be marvellous. And this is actually going to be around for quite a while because it's all going on all the merchandise. So it'll be probably around for like the next year. I'd probably be around longer than us, to be quite honest. I've just been told it was for Advent Gardens and everything. Is it? Are you serious? I'm really doing Christmas. Yeah, have a look, there's a bag of tinsel on so. You're lying! Like Christmas I know I'm gullible, but you're Christmas. lying. Oh, you can't be serious. Uh, uh, Is this uh, it? Oh uh, my uh, god! Uh, <laughs> Undoubtedly, when you look at how you look over the last year, the different looks of the band, um, they have been, there has been too many different looks. There hasn't, it hasn't been seamless. I think we've got tons of black tops like that, which they look really cool. I was just hoping for something a bit more colourful, that'll be fine, it'll be fine. We need to get a bit more colouring. I oh, know, we don't it's have much colour. I know, I noticed. It's all very dark. Before, um, we've got some red and stuff, so we can just, yeah. put, we can just put flashes of... Yeah, cool. I didn't realise we had all this red stuff, so that's good. 
for any casting directors out there. <laughs> We'd like a job, please. No, but it's quite interesting because people are taking such an interest in seeing how the band have progressed right from the beginning, from being regular kids through to now. And I think they've seen it all evolve. The look has evolved. They're much, obviously, more polished. No one remind me, if you never know go and see Panto, <laughs> Glamorous. <laughs> you can see. Don't put all this pressure on my head. I like being a bigger. I think more about the band has been right than has been wrong in terms of the imagery. Jasmine, not that busy, playing. Wishy washy. <laughs> we don't try to eat daddy. Playing. We don't try to eat. No, playing. Imagine. My personal favourite of our time in Norway was a track we recorded called Fool. Um, there was a couple I really liked, but it, see the thing is I wake up and I sing a different one each morning, but um, you don't really know what it's going to be like until you actually get them back. No, there were some wicked songs there, but I liked them all because if you didn't like them you wouldn't have to sing them anyway, but then you just don't know what they were going to sound like until you get the finished, finished product. Do you know what, everyone's really excited today, you can see everyone's smiling and gleaming because we're working. Not only have we been in the studio for the last couple of weeks, we're now doing a photo shoot. I think it's unfortunate that Miley, for instance, has got this tag that she is, I don't know, you know, people think she's a bitch or whatever, but she's, she's not. She's actually a very, very warm person. I don't think it's about emotion, but I think people think that we probably don't have any sometimes, especially the past few weeks that have been going on. There's been a, a, personally for me, there's been a lot of things written uh, that haven't been true. And I've always said, you know, oh well, people don't always believe what they read in the papers and things, but I think sometimes they do, which does translate, you know, incorrectly. No, no matter how many, how, how many times we go on about how, you know, don't believe everything you read in the paper, people do because there's so, you know, there's so much of it. People are focused on it so much. A certain amount people are going to take in. Um, and what's been happening, you know, recently, I've, I've been called all names under the sun and almost like a scapegoat for what's happened. That's how I feel sometimes. And I haven't retaliated because it's not, it's not how, or, you know, I want to move forward. And I, very, I do really feel sorry for her over it. And, and I know the band, you know, feel very strongly about it as well. Well, I had a few things on my mind. Yeah.